this sauna is called Allegro and I gave this out about a month ago. And I don't think we looked at it with too much detail, but this is a really great song to play when you're alone at your house because it is a solo piece. So it's meant for just one player. And I give this song one because it's beautiful and I love it. And two, it really helps us work on some advanced bow techniques. So I'm gonna show you the first bow technique that I showed everybody today during class. And that is the bow circle, okay? And I think we might have talked about that before, but I'll explain it again. Um, we'll do it on the A string. You're gonna actually start at the middle, the second tape. You're gonna play it to the tip. And then you're gonna come back to the middle, okay? So let's practice that together. Middle again. Middle again. Make sure you're going all the way to the tip before you start over. Ready, again. Ready, again. And set your bow down gently on the string so you don't crash. You set your bow gently on the string and then pull it again. Circle and set. Circle and set. Circle and set. Okay? So after you can do that comfortably, you can go ahead and start learning the notes and rhythms. And remember, it's important to start learning the notes and rhythms with just pizzicato. So I'm actually just gonna show you right now on this video how I would practice this. So here are the first notes, D, D, A, A. D, D, A, A. Make sure your third finger is ringing. It should really, it should really be super in tune and make your open D ring. Again, ready, go. D D A A. D D A A. The next notes are what we call a turn. It looks like a little mountain there on your music in the second measure, and we're gonna. It's a turn around E. So we start, or excuse me, B. We start on B, first finger on the A string, and we're gonna go around in a circle like this. So we start on B and then we jump back to it. We step up the scale and then skip back down. So let's practice that together. B, C sharp, D, B. B, C sharp, D, B. And I'm doing it faster because it is eighth notes, but I'll slow it down once so you can catch up. B, C sharp, D, go. B, C sharp, D, B. Now we can try the whole measure once we've done that five times. B, C sharp, D, B, A, A. B, C sharp, D, B, A. A, B, C sharp, D, B, A, last time, sorry, ready, go now, great, now we can put those two measures together. I would like you to stop the video and repeat the first measures five times correctly. Then you can watch this video again. I'm going to move on to measure three, which starts on the note G. And again, we want to have it ring with the open G. And we'll try this. G, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, F sharp, F sharp. down a little bit. We'll just do the turn. And this one is a turn around um, E. The other one was a turn above. 
so you never went below the, the B. This one is a turn around E, so you go above and below. Actually, go below first and then above. So we're turning around B. Let's try that. Uh, sorry, E, E on the D string. E, D, E, F sharp. E, D, E, F sharp. Three more. E, D, E, F sharp. E, D, E, F sharp. E, D, E, F sharp. And that ends with an open D. So we'll add that last note, and it's a half note. Half note. E, D, E, F sharp, D. And hold it out, because it is longer. Okay, here we go. Ready, and four more times. Wrong string. Ready, and four more times. Sing. E, D, E, F sharp, D. Go. Sing. E, D, E, F sharp, D. Go. Two more times. Go. E, D, E, F sharp, D. And go. Last one. E, D, E, F sharp, D. And go. Whole line. So now you can practice line one, and line two is the same, and line four is the same. So you learned most of the song now. And the, re the third line, it it's hard because it slows down, but the notes are pretty easy. So I'm going to teach them to you in measures instead of uh, two beats. So it goes like this. Again, go. B, B, A, D. And the nice thing is, you'll notice measures 9 and 10 are the same, so we get to do that twice. So pause the video and practice measures 9 and 10 at least 5 times, and then you can come back. And this is actually a very slow turn above B, so it's the same notes in measure 2, but they're slower. B, C sharp, D, B. B, C sharp, D, B. more times. Ready and go now. B, C sharp, D, B. B, C sharp, D, B. And the last three notes are in measure 12, the last notes of, of the third line. A, F sharp, E, go. Sing A, F sharp, E, go. Sing. A, F sharp, E, go. Sing A, F sharp, E, one more time. Good, so now, uh, measure 9, 10, measure 11 and 12 put together look like this. Okay. B, C sharp, D, B, A, F sharp, E. So those two measures are worth pausing the video and practicing measures uh, 11 and 12. Okay. And then once you get 11 and 12, you can do the whole line and I'll play that one for you once. you'll see 
that RIT, which stands for ritardando, and that means to slow down. So right there in that last measure, we slow down. And then you'll see the little half circle with a dot. That's called a fermata, and that means you can hold it as long as you would like. So you'll have this kind of dramatic pause. Now slow down, and you can hold that last E as long as you want. And then we go a tempo, which means back to the original speed. La 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 la. All right. So my friends, the assignment for beginning orchestra was those three scales. C, D, and A, uh, sorry, C, G, and D, C, G, and D. And you're uh, learning all of the notes for Allegro so that next week on Wednesday, we can um, begin talking about the bow strokes. You'll see if you have your Allegro music down here on the bottom, I labeled all the bow strokes and we're gonna start working on that together now, okay? Hope that helps, enjoy. <laughs>